All right, guys, I know, I know, I know that each helper itself was a little bit, you know, a lot to digest with Express and above. But anyhow, long story short, we're going to hold on for now uh, about helpers, built-in helpers. We got a last one to cover, but we'll cover this probably in the next video moving forward. But today, we're going to be talking about partials, how to do partials with Express Handleboard itself. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And there is, uh, of course, different ways that we can consider doing this. But I'm going to show you guys how to kind of build in your own partials and how even to rename the partial file, uh, files using Handleboard itself. Now, by default, Handleboard is expecting you to have a folder inside of you called partials. This is how it works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a header partial with header that handlebar. And we're also going to create a footer that's partial as well. There you go. So we got a total of two partials and you guys gonna see how we can use partial moving forward with different type of route, right? All right, cool. So within the header partial, I'm gonna go ahead and have a nav. Within that nav, we're gonna have an H2. Next to that H2, I'm gonna have a U, UL tag and I'll have three element inside of it. Actually, uh, hold on, I think I'm missing something. LI with three elements inside of it. Cool. So I'm gonna have like, you know, logo here and let's do it again, logo. And then we can say, uh, this is going to be contact page. This is gonna be home page, and this is gonna be, you know, uh, about page. So the bottom line is, let's say you guys had a, a like a header tag, right? You wanted this header tag to be used in different different places throughout your your application right for example you wanted the head the, the the about page to have a header right well you can do this by using the helper the partial itself how we do that is we bring this partial here and how we know about the name is whatever files that you name the partial this is going to be equal to the partial itself name that's how we bring it in but be mindful, we bring it as if it was an expression, but there is something else we need to do. You see, before before the last curly bracket, we use this sign. Like, check this out. This sign right here. And that's how we use partial using handlebar. Now, let's see if this works. This is under the about page, and that about page, let's see what route it is. That about page is actually on this route, so we need to go to this route. So let's go here. And let's see if we finally got our partial. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we have our partial on, on, on the about page. But check this out, the other page don't have it because we're not using the partial in the update page. If we wanna use it, we can head over, what page is this? This is the index, index page. And there we go, here's the index. And I wanna have the header so I can go all the way on top. And once again, what is the header name? It's equal to whatever the file is named. So the file is named header. And then how we use it, we use this, you know, sign here, like, you know, a right arrow, whatever this is. And then we refresh this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this lines of code now have our partial. So partial is an easy way to kind of break pieces of your component into pieces of your application into different type of layout. It's really useful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to also have a footer partials, right? Let's head over our footer. We can have our footer partial here. Within this folder, we can have a D. Within this D, we can have a P tag. And there you go, I am the folder. Something like that, like something very basic. And once again, guys, you can feel free to kind of style this however you want. If I want to use my partial inside my index, I can go ahead here and all the way on the bottom, I can use it like, what's the name of my partial? It's called footer and I can just say footer and then use this sign again right here. And this will technically bring my footer here. As you guys can see, I am the footer and I can feel free to use it under the about page two as well. And I can head over the about helper and I'm gonna use the footer as well, like this. And there you go, I now have the footer element. So this is how partial works in, in, in with handlebars. Now, one thing to mention is by default, handlebar is looking for a folder name called partials. Like this is the name that they're expecting you to have the partial itself. What if you want the partial to have a different name? Well, we can head over our Express Handlebar configuration. Once again, 
you guys want to watch this video there's a whole video on how to configure a handlebar but what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this line what we're gonna do is first we're gonna rename our partial folder to be something else maybe we can call it pieces uh, just an example to kind of show you guys and if we try to run this of course it won't work because we no longer have you know it, you see it didn't even it throws a whole different errors which sucks but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this folder is going to be the pieces that our handlebar is going to look for for our partials all right so here we're gonna add an extra lines and this one is gonna call partials there and we give this the path of which folder we want it to be our partials all right we're gonna go this is located under the views itself so we're gonna go over at the view folder inside of view folder and what is the folder we want we want the pieces to be equal to uh, the partial one and check this out when I reload this and now it's still working as expected so this is how you kind of change the name of your directory once again guys we can make this compatible for Windows as well by using the the path here just like we use this one here so we're gonna take ahead and get and make sure we got this resolved like like this and then we're gonna say uh, path that join their name and there we go that should be as expected the same the same thing is happening now, ladies and gentlemen this is how you use partial in, in with with express interval itself but there's one thing that we wish that we can do you see how we were changing uh, the layout to be something else we're also changing the partial to be something else what if what we wanted to change instead of having the that handlebars file we wanted the, we wanted to have a different name for our handlebar instead of having that handlebars what if we wanted to have a different name for our dot handlebars file? Well, we can do that as well. And we're going to do that in the next session.